Mark, this is your life. This is what happened, but you were in here so you missed it. Oh, it's the beginning of his birthday weekend. You're so young. Yes. <laughs> oh, honey. I hope you have a good birthday weekend. I really hope so, too. I want to do fun things, and we're going to kick it off tonight and hopefully check out some softball if it's not raining this week. We got screwed last weekend because it was Memorial Day weekend, and I guess they canceled the game, or they didn't have one scheduled, I don't know. But hopefully tonight, we'll be able to see some softball. Maybe. Not sure. I don't know, but Maybe I'm... a little chilly, too. Yeah. So, I just got off the treadmill. <laughs> Are you surprised? That's what usually happens after 6 o'clock. So it's almost time to cook dinner. I guess I gotta cook a little bit early tonight. Yeah. But I was going to make arancini, which is, if you don't know, rice balls with a little piece of mozzarella in the center and then you coat it in breadcrumbs and you uh, fry the outside. So I was gonna make that because I bought the arborio rice for that. But now I think that's too much work, honey. And I'm gonna make arancini for your birthday. Oh! Which is tomorrow for us, but if you're watching this on Saturday, it's today. So yeah, happy birthday, honey, <laughs> in advance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double batch of risotto. And I'm gonna use the leftover risotto, if there is any, which I, you know, I hope there's going to be enough left over because um, it's going to be quite tasty. But you know what? You shouldn't eat too much of it anyway because it's probably pretty fattening. It's all about portion control and volumetrics. That's how you lose weight, right? Okay. Fill up on low calorie stuff and have a little bit of the high calorie stuff. It's science. The amount of calorie, you know, if you eat less calories than you burn, then you're going to lose weight. There's no simpler mathematical equation than that. So I'm going to make the risotto and we'll, we'll continue from there. We'll see what happens, whether it rains or we'll do something fun, right? We should do something fun because it's the kickoff. It's the kickoff to birthday weekend. Yay! Happy birthday. Aww. Recap Cat is so sad. He's missing Gigi so bad. Okay, I know, wiggle worm. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. How was work? <laughs> that good, huh? Good stuff. Well, at least we're having risotto. I, like I, sneeze, but it won't come out. I hate that. So unsatisfying. Hey, Ma, where's my brother? Ma, where's my brother? He's getting better. Ma, where's my brother? How would you like it if he just asked you that a thousand times a day? <laughs> That'd be awesome if he could talk. Yeah, wouldn't it? Hey, Ma, where's my brother? Well, he does talk, just not in the language I can understand. Yeah, well... But I have an idea. What? When he goes, Ma! like, really short, I could tell that he's, like, angry or, like, yeah. bored or whatever. Well, when you've only got one word to work with, you know, it's kind of difficult. And then when Gigi's oh, like, Oh, he's doing tricks! Ma! Ma! That means he's hungry. Yeah. Which is all the time. Hi, Ma. How was work, Ma? Alright, so we're making the risotto over here. And I started, I've got two onions cut up in the pan, sautéing in some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons. And they're nice and glassy looking now, so I'm going to add two cups of the arborio rice. And I'm just going to sauté that until the rice gets, um, a little bit darker. All right, so this part is ready now. Uh, risotto is a little bit tricky because you don't add all of the water for the rice at once. It takes a lot more water than regular rice and since you add it in parts, you don't want the water, aka broth, that you add to be room temperature. You want it to be almost boiling or boiling because you're going to slow down the cooking process for the rice if, if the pan has to come back up, you know, to temperature after you, put the rice, after you put the broth in. So over here in this other pan, I've got my stock. Um, it's a lot of cups. For one and a half cups of rice, it's 
five cups of broth. And since I'm making this vegetarian, it's vegetable broth. But you can use beef or chicken or, you know, whatever you want. I guess you could even use pork. I don't know if I'd recommend it though because it's probably too greasy. <laughs> I don't know, but you could probably use pork if you wanted. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add enough of the stock just to cover the rice and then you let that cook down and I can't do it with one hand because I don't want to slop it all over the place but I'll show you after it goes in and then when that gets absorbed into the rice you're going to add the same thing again enough to cover it wait for it to cook and then add it again alright so there it is you want to add just enough to cover it and you can see it's already simmering because the um, broth was already the temperature of boiling so just keep your uh, stock pot over there on a simmer so that it maintains its temperature and when that's all absorbed it shouldn't you know it should go fairly quickly like in a few minutes you'll be ready to add the next amount of broth to it so you really got to keep an eye on it and you should be like stirring it every time when you put it in as well so that it doesn't burn on the bottom alright so now most of the liquid is pretty much absorbed so it's time to add the next go round of liquid and then you just keep going until um, you're done with the liquid alright so all the liquid is in and I added about five tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna add my grated cheese which is probably about half a cupish, <laughs> two-thirds at the most and then I'm just going to stir that around and cook it for a couple more minutes and then it should be ready to eat. Ooh, honey, organic lettuce. Doesn't that make you happy? No, not particularly. <laughs> like my lettuce to be full of chemicals. Tell everybody for real how many times a day I eat salad. Eight, nine. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know, three. Two, three. What do you think about that? It looks, it looks good, by the way. I don't like my risotto to be too soupy. No. So I think this is pretty much the perfect consistency. Good. Cool. Thank you. Now, guys, if you want to make it um, different, like, you know, on Hell's Kitchen, they have, like, the lobster risotto, or, you know, you could add just whatever flavorings you want, as long as you keep the water the same amount and the, and the butter. Uh, the cheese is optional. I really like cheese in it because... I like cheese risotto. <laughs> in fact, the, the recipe that I was following didn't call for cheese, but I always put cheese in mine. So, yeah. Let me know if you've made it before in the comments, please. And if you have any ideas for like what you would add in, let me know. Because I'd much like to know. Hi! <laughs> Guess what, TT? We're not going to the softball game. Because we got wrapped up in Downton Abbey. What do you think, honey? What? It's already 9.30. Go for a little bit and you leave. I want to go for a full game. <sighs> what do you say? I don't want to know that. I say break out the Reese's, girl. Can we go next week for the full game? Like eat dinner early and go for the What full do you game? think about Downton Abbey? <laughs> I love it. With who? The show. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant you were in love with somebody on the show. I know who you're in love with. <laughs> so you're the one who likes that freaking weirdo, Mr. Bates. <laughs> I don't like him like that. I like his character. <laughs> He's kind of a douche. <laughs> But not as much of a douche as Mosley. Why is Mosley oh a my douche? Gosh. He's a nice man. What do you think, honey? Who's your favorite character? Isis. Me too! <laughs> Isis butt! <laughs> if you don't watch Downton, you probably have no clue what we're talking about, but you probably should watch it. I like Eden. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Is season one available on Netflix still? Yeah, so if you guys got Netflix, you should definitely check it out. Season 1, Downton Abbey. What's going on over here? Relaxing. Eating birthday Oreos? Yeah. Sean's like, uh, birthday cake. <laughs> Sean wants those. 
Here, let me throw something at you like you did to me before. <laughs> Where's my mouth hole? <laughs> I don't know, Phantom. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. These look really good. What do they look like? Oh, I bet Granny would like those. Although, Granny likes marshmallow. <laughs> It kills me the way Granny says marshmallow. Marshmallow. <laughs> I don't know, because it's so weird. How do you say it? Marshmallow? Like marsh yo a mellow. Right? <laughs> Wait, are you still talking to me? Yes. Oh, I couldn't tell. Uh, what's up, Kristen? <laughs> nothing? Got nothing going on? That's great. Sean, what about you? <laughs> Towel head over here and... <laughs> I didn't say box head, I said towelhead. head. Yeah, I know. Uh... Sean, what are you looking at? Sean likes weird videos. Sean, what is that? It's some baby screaming. Why is that baby screaming? Sean thinks that's pretty funny. Uh. <laughs> Told ya. Here, Mom, try one. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. It's really sweet. It's an explosion of deliciousness. What is so it good? So big? Good thing it's the weekend. It's dessert time. Weekend, weekend, birthday weekend. Kick it off with a birthday Oreo. Too bad the birthday boy's already gone to bed. <laughs> He's tired. It's a long week. Alright. So I guess I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it all. Homer's wanting some finger loving. Yes. Alright guys, till next time. Much love.